Well, we're getting loaded up for drive day number one here. A uh, quick one, and then they'll probably put the race again tomorrow. But to get the day kicked off right, Andy's fixing up his side mirror, doing a little extra resistance there. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah she, likes to, she likes to look at the ground. She wants to see burnout. So. <laughs> Sometimes you got to see cars around you. Yeah. Uh, first mod's done, just making it more pristine. It's pretty cool. <laughs> people hopped in on the route so do our uh, picture here and we'll head out so the motion race marquee showed up because Doug had some issues with the Nova decided not to chance it throughout the week and uh, so they picked this thing up on Facebook marketplace for $1,600 they're gonna uh, they were just looking at a fitting on the engine try to get a nitrous kit ordered and all that but stickered up ready to rock and roll getting them bugs off the window or what <laughs> Gotta see better. It's a little warm one this year, huh? This drive last year. So this is drive last year. We just had rain the whole freaking entire way. But uh, this year it's, it's a little warm. I've got sunscreen on the arm that hangs out the window, so it's not burning it too bad. April's knocking down some miles. You want me to drive now? Or? No. All right, she's gonna keep driving then. So keep going. So we're here in Sterling, almost at the second checkpoint. Got to wait for this train here to go by. Then we can get back on the road. We've got some other race weekers pulling up with us. So let this pass by and we can hit our splash checkpoint and then we can keep on moving. Oh. Well, old 200 mile an hour streetcar just out here doing work, huh? Just travel along. Cruising. 60, 65, <laughs> 70. Nice and easy. Hell yeah. All right, everyone, stopped here at the checkpoint. April's gonna get a picture of the car at the checkpoint. That's what you gotta do at each one. Prove that you made it to the checkpoint. We're gonna get back on that road. So probably about five minutes ago, we were just talking about how good everything's doing. Of course, jinx yourself, and something's going on with the fans on the Buick. So my dad is trying to figure out the wiring, jump it, figure out if it's coming from the Holly or if it's a fan issue or what. Uh, relay maybe, who knows. He's uh, pulling the ECU back, chase the wires out, figure out what fan, see if we can jump it, activate it. Uh, Cause both of them stopped at the same time, which is kind of weird. We ended up getting the car all pulled apart, got the frame shroud out of it, popping some new fans on it, and getting back hopefully on the road if we get these things fired up and going. So that thing was smoked, huh? That one. I don't know. We tried to start a fire. Oh, shit. Yikes. That one got rolling. That was the one that was locked up. Shit. Yeah. Well, two fresh ones on, and hopefully we can get the Buick back on the road here. 
Yep, so we ended up setting instead of having to come on and off and on and off with temp, we just went ahead and set them at 180. They'll be on pretty much the whole drive, so then they're not trying to kick on and off a bunch of time and trying to burn them up as it's trying to work like with temp. So once they're on, we'll just keep going until the car cools off. So uh, when we probably stop because the car never really sees below like 175, 177, and so we put off at 170 in the computer. So then I'll just fire them both up and run. Also, these are a little bit weaker pans than what we're in it, so hopefully this will be enough to keep it cool as well. Whew. All right. So 14 and a half hours of doing streetcar stuff. Buick made it, the Motion Marquee made it, and good old Clyde made it. So we did it, 14 and a half hours of driving in our streetcar. And what a fine job Clyde did, huh babe? Very good. Good old solid machine right here. Buick made it with just a little bit of issues as far as the uh, fans go, but fixed fans, and now it's here. So made it. Everything's good. Now it's time to eat.